Hi, it's Diana from DMYBlog.com, and I'm so sorry that I haven't been on YouTube in a while. I've actually been sick a lot this past year, and it was just hard keeping up with the videos and with blogging, but I'm recovering, and I'm happy to be back. So today, I wanted to share with you my updated skincare routine. If you haven't checked out my previous skincare routine, I'll put the link right up here, and you can go watch that if you'd like. So, let's get started. So just to tell you about my skin type, I would describe my skin as normal and a bit sensitive. Um, you know, throughout the day, I can get shiny and a little bit oily in my T-zone area. And in the winter time, I would say that my skin can get pretty dry, especially around my nose and um, my eyes. Um, probably because I live in Chicago and it's super cold and windy in the winter and I work in an office and it can just get uh, really dry, um, just, you know, the air. So first I'm going to share with you my night routine and then I'll share with you my morning routine. So first at night what I do is I remove my eye makeup and what I use is the Makeup Forever Sense Eyes. And this makeup remover I really like because one, it helps remove waterproof makeup and two, it doesn't drip or run or anything like that. Um, I think most eye makeup removers tend to be oily so you know they kind of drip and ruin all of your makeup but this is great um, for if you want to change your eyeshadow or if you kind of messed up doing your makeup and you want to clean it up really quickly this is perfect for it you can just use a q-tip you know just to um, use it on your eye to fix it up um, so what I usually do for this one is I squirt a little bit on a cotton pad and the cotton pads that I use is this um, Japanese Con, uh, Japanese kind is the Selena Fresh cotton pad and this one I think is great it's because it's really durable and, um, and it's really soft too so what I usually do is I just squirt um, just a little bit um, directly onto the cotton pad and then I hold it over my eye and then gently wipe it off so with this, um, this eye makeup remover I am running low and I actually do want to get another bottle of this, but I also want to actually get a bottle of just a regular eye makeup remover, which is um, an oil-based. Because even though this does work well, it does take some time to get the eye makeup off, which I don't like. So I just kind of want to get a regular one, you know, just to remove my eye makeup faster. So after the eye makeup remover, I use just a regular makeup remover oil cleanser and the one that I use is by the face shop which is a Korean brand and this one is the oil specialist anti-aging cleansing oil with green tea and acai berry it looks like this it's a green bottle and it comes with a pump right here and this um, detachable little piece so you know in case you travel with it it won't squirt anywhere um, the eye makeup remover one also comes with um, a cap hair too. So for this makeup remover, I believe um, there are actually two different types, but I enjoy this one the best. And what I do is I pump, um, you know, just uh, a few times in my hands, and then I gently rub, and then I rub it onto my face um, gently in circular motions. And then what you do is you wet your fingers a little bit, and then you work the water um, onto your face again in circular motions just to help uh, dissolve all of your makeup. So the water just helps activate the oil cleanser. Then once, um, once I do that, I rinse all of it off with just warm water. Then following the, the oil cleanser, I use the Philosophy Purity Facial Cleanser. And this cleanser was in my last video as well. And I really enjoy this because it's fragrance free, it's really gentle on my skin, and it removes makeup as well. Um, even though I don't think it removes eye makeup that well or like waterproof, waterproof makeup, um, this definitely helps remove other types of makeup. And I think it's just a great cleaner, you know, after uh, makeup remover. So what I usually do with this cleanser is I just put a small amount in my hand 
and work it with a little bit of water and then I put it onto my face you know in circular motions and then what I use is this facial brush and usually you know some facial brushes can be pretty harsh um, with hard bristles this one is a facial brush I believe it's a Japanese brand uh, by Japanese brand and it has really soft bristles and what I usually do with this is that after I've um, put the cleanser onto my face I use this brush and I uh, scrub my face in a circular motion gently and if this is really great because the bristles are flexible um, so I can work work it on my nose and my pores and just around my nose as well I definitely avoid my eye area though just because the eye area is sensitive so I don't put this around my eye area so after I use the facial brush I rinse off the cleanser with warm water um, so after I've you know washed off my cleanser I dry my face with a towel and I don't wipe my face you know just like wiping it to dry it I take the towel and I pat to dry and I think that's just definitely better for your skin it doesn't uh, harm your skin and it's not as harsh for your skin when you do that so after I've dried my face what I use is this uh, exfoliating toner by Etude House and it's called the Skin Melgum Smoother so what I usually do with this is I wet a cotton pad and I wipe it all over my face and this helps remove dead skin cells and helps just smooth out my skin really well and I usually use this every other day not every day and what you can do with this is instead of putting it on a cotton pad you can just put it directly on your hands kind of just rub it and then pat it onto your face and this just helps freshen up your skin so after I use the skin Malcolm facial toner I use the Pangeo organics facial toner and this one is the Italian green mandarin and sweet lime for normal to combination skin and Pangeo organics actually has a few other different types of facial toners depending on your skin type so you can check out their website to see you know which one would work best for you so what I usually do with this is I spray it onto my face and neck a few times and then I follow it with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion and this was also in my last video as well and I really like this moisturizing lotion just because it's really light and it's not greasy and it, it absorbs into my skin well uh, which I think is key and I also have sensitive skin like I said and um, this doesn't make my skin react badly or anything like that and it moisturizes my skin really well so after the moisturizing lotion what I use is um, the Kiehl's Epicene cream which is an anti-wrinkle defense cream with survival molecules and coralina extract and this is just the eye cream and what I usually do with this is I take a small amount and I um, just gently dab around my, you know, my orbital bone around my eye and that's what I usually do with this one. I actually like this one a lot. I think it's, you know, just lighter and absorbs well so it doesn't, you know, get into my eyes or anything like that at night and I think it's um, pretty effective around my eye area. So after the eye cream, what I use is um, a blemish cream if I have any blemishes and the one I use is the Clarisol Maximum Strength Blemish Cream and I like this one because it's light and it's effective I just put a little bit on you know on my blemish if I see anything and in the morning I definitely see a difference so I definitely recommend trying it just be careful in case um, your skin is super sensitive it does contain you know benzoyl peroxide and some people are sensitive to that so after the blemish cream what I use is this 100% pure grapeseed oil and this is great for sensitive skin it's an all-natural moisturizer and it's anti-aging as well so I really love this because it's gentle on the skin and it helps keeps my skin moisturized during the night in the morning my skin feels just really soft and supple and this is really good for winter time uh, especially you know if your skin is parched and you just need that hydration this is perfect for it so 
because sometimes instead of the Clinique moisturizing lotion, what I do is use the grapeseed oil. Um, normally, on a day-to-day -day basis, I do use both just for extra hydration, but sometimes I just use the grapeseed oil. So for my morning routine, um, it's a lot simpler with a lot less products. Uh, I just use the Philosophy Purity Facial Cleanser, followed with the Pangea Organics Facial Toner, and then the Clinique Moisturizing Lotion. So there you have it, my night skincare routine and my morning skincare routine. If you have any questions about these products or my skincare process, just feel free to leave a message down below and I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!